So there are two things that I want to talk about today. Number one is organic pest control. Um, and I want to show you the pest problem that I'm having. So first, let's see my organic pest. I have an infestation. They're beautiful. They're butterflies. But they're killing my brassicas. They're eating all of my kale. And that does not make me happy. They are the common white cabbage butterfly. So why is organic gardening important to me? Um, well, I feel like it's a good goal to do things naturally, not put harsh chemicals into the ground or into my food or into my family's bodies. Um, so that's number one. And the second reason is I want to encourage an eco-friendly environment in my yard. We love seeing wildlife, birds, bees, all kinds of pollinators, deer occasionally, as long as they are leaving my uh, plum tree alone, and even silly kids. <laughs> Um, so, we want to encourage these animals uh, to come into our yard. There's a natural system where good pollinators, good bugs, will help your food grow. And if you have pests and you let birds come in, the birds will eat the pests. And that's a very natural system and it's something that I want to encourage. If I had a larger scale um, system where I was growing more food, I would probably do the same thing. So you've seen me talk about Neptune's Harvest, which is our organic fertilizer that we're using. Um, you've seen me talk about neem oil. Um, you've seen me talk about peppermint oil. So a lot of these are things that are important to me because I don't want those chemicals that we are reading about big agro businesses making um, leaching into my yard. I don't want them leaching into my food and I don't want them to discourage nature from doing its thing, which is having birds eat the bugs so I don't have to pick them. If I was spraying chemicals, we wouldn't have bugs. We wouldn't have birds. And that would make our garden a lot less enjoyable. Um, so please take a look at how I am dealing with these cabbage butterflies as organically as I can. Um, and let me know if you have any questions. The three sort of things that I use to garden, I've got neem oil, peppermint oil, and then Neptune's Harvest. Um, again, that's my fertilizer. It's totally organic. Um, so is the peppermint oil and the neem oil. Um, so that's what I use, and that's it. Besides manually pulling weeds, that's where I'm at. Plan. My pond. The birds have been fighting over who gets to play in the pond. They love the fountain. They love to sit on the rocks and splash around. They've been drinking because we've been in the 90s. They are just having so much fun and enjoying the pond. When the birds come, that means they work on the pests that I don't want. And that's one way of organic gardening. Look at my kale. It looks like it's being devoured. Do you see 
that black spot that is from a cabbage butterfly that's poop cabbage moth poop this kale has really gotten it if you look on the back of some of these leaves I've been finding oh look there's a lot they're attacking my cauliflower Let's see if I can find a caterpillar or some eggs the caterpillars are super small The birds have been doing a good job up until this point of getting the caterpillars. And now that some of them have escaped the bird's eyes and are now butterflies, insert picture of caterpillar and butterfly here, they are laying eggs and running rampant in my garden. They're not just going after the brassicas. They're going after my shard and my bush bean babies and my cucumber. And then there's my pole beans. So it's time to do some spraying. I've got my neem oil, which will kill any caterpillars that are on there or eggs that are on there. And then this is a mixture of peppermint oil and water. Um, it's about 1 16th peppermint oil. 15 sixteenths water. Um, it will mask the smell of the plants from the moths and butterflies so they won't be laying their eggs or coming to eat. So let's get this done. This is uh, moth or butterfly cocoon um, so this is on a piece of kale I picked to eat and you can see the cocoon oh these are the cabbage moth caterpillars I don't know if you can see how tiny they are this is my middle finger that's how small they are and there's two of them on the back of this leaf they're just eaten away that little white spot that's an egg sack so that's why we're spraying this is why organic gardening is so important to me with good bugs and birds doing their job you get a lot of vegetables and fruit. This is a pumpkin that just came up. I've got another one actually um, growing up the fence and you can see all the flowers I have. So I want to encourage pollination on the plants that need pollination and discourage eating on my leafy greens. Um, and if you look I do have some pollinators in here. Not sure if you can see them, but they're not deterred by me spraying next to the pumpkins with the neem oil. And it won't hurt the birds either. It's just going to stop the moths and butterflies. There might be better contrast on my cabbage. So, 
you can see they started moving in here. I don't see any over here. You can definitely see the damage that they're starting to do. If my kale was just a little bit chewed up like this, I don't think I would have sprayed. I would have left it for the birds. But it's gotten out of control in that bed. Here we go. Now you can see this is one of the caterpillars. I sprayed it and it's trying to get out, but it can't. So um, the neem oil is doing its job already. Now I don't want to stop all bugs from coming in because I will want to keep this a healthy neighborhood for my plants. Um, you can see the neem oil did not keep this little fly away and he's not doing anything bad to my eggplant. I spray peppermint oil on my radishes, carrots, turnips, and beets because they're just really young and um, they're not even two weeks old. They just started germinating. I want to make sure that they do have a chance to come up. I didn't spray any of the other plants. My main concern is the cabbage moth and cabbage butterfly. Um, I will have to reapply both after it rains um, because it is an oil. It doesn't absorb into the uh, plant, which is good, but that means many reapplications. And the neem oil that I have, uh, it's the uh, 32 fluid ounce one from Lowe's is about $12. So this is my second use of it and it's about half done. Um, so if you have a large garden like mine, I would recommend buying it in a larger bottle, more concentrated and dilute it yourself and save yourself some money. This is the sign of a nine year old who's been eating a kale. Note the large amount of the leaf that is missing and the coloring book that it's next to. There's nothing that can be done for this kind of pest except encourage the consumption of greens. So what do you do to take care of pests? How do you encourage your kid to eat more vegetables? I mean, not vegetables. They're not vegetables. Vegetables are a bad word. But kale is yummy somehow. Um, how's your garden growing? Let me know. Like, subscribe, comment. You know, that stuff. Thanks for watching. This is terrible.